services on both digital television and the net. More power to your finger. It's a man's world at this women's magazine. It is me. She left me a week before our wedding. I don't think, I'm sorry he's going to cover it. I don't know why I like her, because she's not even nice to me. Welcome to my world. I think it's a good idea. I think it's an excellent idea. Glossy pages, colourful lives. I slept with her last night and it was great. Why shouldn't I have some fun anyway? I'm 36, I'm not dead yet. Never a dull moment, is there? Rescue Me, new drama, continues Sunday at 9 on BBC One. Pink in the kitchen, aubergine in the lounge. Go on and let BBC One inspire you. Welcome to Changing Rooms. This week we've come to Milton Keynes, famous for its roundabouts and apparently these stone cows. But the creativity doesn't stop here. Oh no, we've also managed to track down two courageous couples who are willing to swap homes and decorate a room for each other. Hi, I'm Paul and this is my wife Philippa. We're not very experienced at DIY but we really hope next door will like what we do for them. Hi, my name's Kevin and this is my wife, Laurel. We've been decorating our house for the past two years and I just can't wait to get in next door and do some changes. Paul and Philippa have lived in their 80s semi-detached house for 10 years with their two sons, Nick and James. When Kevin and Laurel moved in next door with their sons, Andre and Nathan, they found a welcome card from Paul and Philippa on the doormat and they've been friends ever since. But will they still be good friends after they're let loose on each other's homes? As ever, they've got two days, £500 to spend, the guidance of a top designer and Handy Andy at the ready with his tool belt. Who could resist that, eh? <laughs> Plus, of course, I've been known to lend a hand from time to time. Quite good, actually. Paul and Philippa's long, narrow sitting room doesn't lend itself to their large furniture. So, in addition to a colour change, it also needs some drastic reorganisation. It's a bit bland and it doesn't really have a theme to it. It's got all different bits that I've tried over the years to do various things with it. But it is the main room that we use as a family, so it is a very important room. And we were just interested to see um, what someone else could do with it. If we decorated it, it would be much along the lines mm. it is now, really. Our tastes are fairly middle of the road, I would have said. But, um, and we do like modern things, and we don't particularly like chintzy type of things. But I wouldn't want anything outrageously modern at all, I don't, because I think that could sometimes look quite cold. It's because we're not really into DIY. We're a bit worried about doing something and really <laughs> hating it because it would be such a trauma to have to alter it all again. <laughs> Laurel and Kevin inherited their kitchen from previous owners, and despite an attempt to introduce a little colour, they still feel it needs bringing into line with their own fresh tastes. Laurel decided to take it on herself to paint the kitchen and you can see the result. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the colour. I think the colour's OK. Perhaps there is too much of it. It needs to be broken up and it's too dark. Okay. We need it modernising in some way, but we can't envisage exactly how. Yeah, and with our decision-making process, we'd take quite a long while, so we'd rather hand that responsibility to someone else. I <laughs> even Philip yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then we can blame them if it yeah. doesn't work out. <laughs> We're open to anything. So long as it brightens the kitchen yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, so she can't go wrong. We're not, you know. Well, she can. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no going back for either team now, so all that remains to do is to swap houses and don team colours. Oh yeah, and I should probably say at this point, the orange team have the lovely Linda Barker and the yellow team have the outrageous Oliver Heath. <laughs> It's not really Kevin and Laurel's style. This has obviously been here before they mm. came into the house. And it, we just think it needs modernising, tidying up. It's just a mess. It's a complete mess. You know what I say? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> what we're going to be doing is contemporary eclectic. And to give it a modern, contemporary, fresh feel, but give it a bit of character so it's not all just one simple look. But we're going to homogenise the whole look. <laughs> The 
the strongest thing that I got out of talking to you some weeks ago was the fact that you wanted aubergine. You wanted a nice, strong aubergine colour. Yes. Not all over the room, just the one wall. Just a yes. feature wall, yes. maybe this wall back here. We also want some kind of texture of some sort, wallpaper with some kind of texture or mm -hmm. even paint with texture okay. on, the, on the other walls. Right, but aubergine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to have a look to see what I've got for Is you? Is it going to be the same as our aubergine? Well, I wonder. <laughs> this is plaster. We are going to be plastering aubergine and it's this colour. It's, it's, it's <laughs> silent. That's it's different to what I thought aubergine was. Is it? So plastering and mauve. Yeah. Plastering. <laughs> Forget the mauve. Think aubergine, okay? But your texture as well, you were quite sure you wanted wallpaper. See, yeah, look at the two together yeah. now. We've got the soft greens and the aubergine. Right. I mean, that's something that they would definitely yeah. like. Oh, yeah. First colour, we're going to brighten up the room, make it lighter and fresher with Honolulu blue. Oh. Yeah? So it's quite light. Yes. Going to bring a bit more light, much make it a bit lighter, fresher. Much better than yeah? the dark green that's on Nice colour. Exactly. It's, it's going to brighten up. Now we're going to work yeah, with that a bit of true blue, which is a little bit darker. And to go with it, we've got a thundercloud grey there. And then to key it off, we've got azalea pink, just to give it a bit of brightness, right. just yeah. a little bit. I don't bit. know if I'm sure about the pink, but... Don't you? Why not? But it just looks so different from all the other colours. I think exactly. it would work really well. I think it would be it's quite good. a contrast against That's the exactly colours. the thing. Ah! Ah! The workers. Wallpapering? <laughs> <laughs> Blimey! Right. We don't do that very often, do we? Uh, we don't mess about. And you know what you're doing too, don't you? Look at her. She's I've been told I can slap it on yet, my nose. <laughs> it's just like makeup. you just... <laughs> You don't know how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going there. So this is the old wallpaper and this is the new wallpaper. Yes, yes. What are you, what are you saying? You can't have a difference. <laughs> don't, don't even go there. It's much better, isn't it? It's textured and it's a lovely modern colour. And that's naff and it's not nice. But it's the same. It's not the same. It's, it's nearly, yes. nearly the same. It's, it's significantly better. It doesn't come in and slap your cross face and go, wow, what a difference. It's but it will do when there's aubergine yes. on the wall. Give it much better. A dark aubergine. Very dark, dark. aubergine, actually. <laughs> dark aubergine. Actually, very dark aubergine, yes. isn't it? Bit of an issue about that. When you do paint, make sure you paint in lots of different directions, yeah? yeah. Stops there becoming lines on the walls, yeah? So keep a kind of random bit of movement doing this, yeah? And that's really important. So otherwise, when you look down, you catch light on it, you'll get lines. There you go. What do you think? It's going on okay, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, can you, can well you just actually. do this patch over here to show us again? Yeah, <laughs> he's a sly <laughs> fox, isn't he? Aren't he let me paint the whole kitchen for it now. Hold that. Let's see your technique, son. Thank you. Excellent. He's good, isn't he? Yeah, very very good. good. Just hidden talents. He's never shown them before at home. <laughs> I've always had this kind of thing well hidden. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for good reasons, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Stop. Stop. I didn't want to go down there. Oh, did you? Well, no, not yet. <laughs> I've got a nice control section at the top. Yeah, I didn't want it to drip. drip. Well, it's going to drip. Is it going to match? Of course it's going to match. It's going to match. It's going to look gorgeous in here. The finish is going to be fantastic. We get this kind of texture with the roller. That's why we put it on with a roller. So you get like a texture. Yep. And then when it's nearly dry, not totally dry, you kind of use that plastic blade and smooth it all off. And it has this kind of beautiful stone, like a tumbled marble look about it. Right. The kitchen. Now we've got quite a few projects you do, Andy. We're going to recover these cupboard doors. Okay. We're going to have to put down a whole floor. And they're going to keep you busy today. Mm -hmm. But first of all, what I want you to do is start working on this island unit. Yes. Now, yeah. Right. Now the guys are saying they want it taken away, but actually, I think it's okay. What we do need to do, coming in, coming in, yeah, <laughs> is it's too big. We want to make it smaller. So at the moment, it's 90 centimetres wide. We want to cut it back to about 63. Yeah. How about that? Very simple. And then we're going to do is stick the freezer underneath it, yeah? It's um, still going to be sticking out quite a long way into here, though, isn't it? Well, in a way, it does give a bit of spatial variation. It does make that definition between the work area and that kind of the dining area. So, Andy gets to work under Oliver's watchful eye. Hey. Hey. 
Really? Yeah. Is it gorgeous? Yeah. Limey, yeah. what are you doing? Oh, we're oh having this is a big, big mess. Uh, big, yeah. big mess. No, we, we're, okay. <laughs> we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. But Carol, do you like I the believe. colour though? Do you like the colour? Um, yeah. No, I was just, just heard one of the crew saying, I used to have a den like that in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm there. I don't it is quite 70s den. 70s is really in at the moment. Oh, well, it's not. Be with Linda, how opportune. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Hello. I've always wanted to do that in a messy window, never mind. Mm. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you've started without me. We have. We're doing quite well, actually. Yeah. What do you think? Good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What colour was it before? It was kind of this, like, sludgy, greeny, yick colour. It's just a little bit over there. Mm. I did suggest blue, and a certain person... Well, I did. Get I thought blue, I thought blue <laughs> might be too, um, not really very kitchen-y, I have to say. It means mm -hmm. the units are all going to have to either go or change or what? Yes, because it's contemporary eclectic. We've so got to give it contemporary eclectic. Contemporary yes. Well, at the moment, you see, it's it's a bit neoclassical. Oh, just, it's you don't like bit, it. You don't like it. It's a bit it. not woody too nonsense. farmhouse. It's a bit Art Nouveau. It's, it's, yeah, it's too many things. We've got to, like, make and it it's going to contemporary. Be? Eclectic. Contemporary eclectic. Didn't I say that? Have I mentioned that just yet? Can you come back later because I'm a scooby what he's talking about. Well, basically. You, have, you can answer us in a postcard, please. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, Andy. Yeah, They're drills. Andy, I brought you some help. <laughs> how good? I don't know how good he is. <laughs> <laughs> Not very. Well, well, I've been reliably informed that he's very good. <laughs> now, listen, I want a nice console table for the middle of the room. Yes? Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Like, yes. Oh, right, you say okay. console table. Console table. I'm thinking two foot wide mm -hmm. by four and a half foot long. Height. Where's your tape? Two foot. 40 centimetres. <laughs> four and a half foot, two foot, 40 centimetres. Well, I'm a product of my own time, you know, that, that generation thing. And then this bit here. Yeah. I'd like you to make me a kind of tray to drop in and pull out, because I'm going to plant little grasses on there and I just thought it'd be nice to have <laughs> an area for planting in the middle planting. so I thought oh, we'd right. have some nice right. grasses right. and some grass yeah a grassy table well that's Linda for you my speciality is teaching Laurel how to sew cushions oh something's come out the thread <laughs> <laughs> it's not used to going so slowly. I'll re-thread it. You tell me how you're feeling. I love what's happening in the room. I'm just not sure about my next door neighbour whether she's going to love it. I think she'll be happy about the colour, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure about. She's not listening. It's okay. She's not sure about the texture on the wall. Texture. Aha. Uh -huh. The stone effect. Yes. Okay, guys. Having led you fully up the garden path, I've got a few projects for you to do. Okay. All right. Yes, right. First of all, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing some work, you'll be pleased to know, <laughs> no. is I'm going to be making a mesh unit in the middle, yeah, basically going to be making a shelving piece that goes right up to the ceiling made out of this. Should be interesting. Okay, Paul, project for you. This is one you're going to do with Andy later on. These, believe it or not, are the floor tiles. This is exterior grade waterproof plywood. Yeah, now what I want you to do is take it away, sand the edges smooth, and then stain it with a dark oak wood stain. Okay, Philippa, now we've pre-cut all these MDF panels. We yes. want to paint each of these a different colour as I've listed on the back. Now right. it's important that you use the roller on this to get a really nice smooth finish. Right, You're going to need fine. a couple of coats. Around the corner, Andy and Kevin get to work on the table. They're using power tools and they're loving it. Well Great saw, isn't it? Success, got a walk. Come on, you're going to do it, if I kill you. Oh dear, I spoke too soon. Come on, <laughs> come on you son of a come on. Push down. Fire. Do you want there's any nails in it? Oh, blimey. There is a technique to it. Yeah, you flicked the switch, didn't you? <laughs> hammer and nail. <laughs> no, no, hammer and nails are maybe redundant now. <laughs> That's cool, hey, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it there. Hey, man. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. That's very good. Very good. Right. No rest for the wicked. Off you go. I'll tidy up over here now, right? Cheers, Andy. See you later. So whilst Andy tidies up, sit back for some angle grinding blues. What do you think about the uh, middle piece, the unit? The central wire mesh unit. Mm. 
I'm not quite sure how it will look in the room. I think it'll look very modern. <laughs> Dusty, that's the other thing, isn't it? Me and Oliver are minds alike. Well, it's the end of D1, and am I glad to be seeing that? Next door, I understand it's been all sorts of flexing of muscles, testosterone, the power tools, and the homogeneouses, or whatever they are. But here at number 20, it's been pure, good old fashioned hard work. Got, the sofa's not quite finished, but I think I'll finish it tomorrow now. The wallpaper's still to be done, uh, there's a little bit left there, and Linda's still to finish the paint effects, so I think I'll turn in. Night, guys. Night. <laughs>you painting? Of course. What time do you call this? Well, eight o'clock. Wow, well, we've been up since five. There you go. Yeah, you can tell me half past eight. Come on. Five o'clock. Yeah. Look at this plum. I brought you plum oh, fabric. Look, look, look. <laughs> it's yes. his plum as well. Yes. You had a night's sleep on that. What do you think of the kitchen? Um, yeah, I think it's really taking shape. It's uh, looking good, definitely. Yeah, like the colours, the contrast. Yeah, I'm pleased with the colours. And now we've started painting the units. It looks better already, but we need the, the next coat on. Yeah, I think this grey is really going to push all that extra unnecessary yeah. detailing right back. So you won't see it, and you'll just see the cupboard fronts that you're going to be fitting on later on. Oh, lovely. Can't wait. Yeah? Yeah. But we have got an absolute load of stuff to do. And I'm morning. so much looking forward to seeing your creation. I know. Well, it's going <laughs> to be wheeled out of the, uh, the garage shortly. But... Yeah. For the moment, I want you to get back to the painting because we need at least one or two more coats on this. And I would like you, Philippa, this way with me. What a hard mm. task, Mark. <laughs> Come on, darling. Let's go and enjoy ourselves. Ooh, yes, let's. I don't think Andy's enjoying himself. He's covered the fireplace with fireproof MDF but is having difficulties replacing the existing surround. What's that they say about many hands? Come on, you help me. <laughs> We're thinking about it, mate. <laughs> We've seen the problem. <laughs> we yeah. can't see the solution. <laughs> That's somehow got to go like that. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. That's all right. Look at this. We put these plywood squares down and then put them in the grain in different directions so it catches yeah. the light differently and varnished it and it looks really good and I'm really pleased with that yeah so that's kind of the wood color that the units were but you're not well keeping that it's a bit units. darker yeah that's why we're painting out the units and then putting fronts on them and then we're doing little squares of color here okay what do you want me to do well uh i think we might have you working on some chairs a little bit of upholstery nothing too shiny though this time it's nice rich color texture not too slippery you'll be Fine. I've done that for ages. No, a <laughs> couple of hours, I suppose. Right, <laughs> out to the garden. You're going to help Philippa, yeah? Well, last night I had visions of lots of things hanging from my wall. No, don't say that. <laughs> lots of different things hanging from the wall. I don't know what Isn't it funny that you think you're really non-conventional, but you are? <laughs> yes, you know, you, you want to be outrageous, but you're not quite there. Oh dear, I don't think my lines are running quite perfectly straight. No, you have to pull it quite tightly. Well, OK, then. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an expert. This is only the first time I've done anything like this. Yeah, you've done better than me, then. I followed Oliver's instructions, though. <clears throat> Oliver's latest hairbrain scheme seems to be these. Uh, what are the office chairs that he's dragged off? Yeah, they're old? recycled office chairs. Mm. But he's uh, Probably was fit, ready for the bin, and suddenly yes. um, here they are, starring in your neighbour's kitchen. Mm. Right, Laurel, enough painting, enough wallpapering. Let's just do something nice. It was stressful yesterday. <laughs> we need some nice soft projects. So, this beautiful yeah, table that Kevin made with Andy. Lovely, isn't it? It is. He's done a really good job of that. I, I would like it soft on the top, soft upholstered. So I've got this foam here, one inch foam, that uh, just needs trimming slightly. Piece of foam at either end, just to leave me a gap in the middle here for this, which is our grass. 
grass. You mean That's, grass grass. <laughs> it's a nice strip of, yeah, I mean grass grass. It's a nice strip of grass right down the middle. So the idea here is, you, you know, I don't like pot plants on fireplaces it's, and shelves. It's and a different idea, it's on. Interesting. <laughs> it's different, isn't it? You see, look what you get when you ask designers into your home. Right, I'm trying to work it out, but you've lost me. Yeah. What would you? <laughs> well, I'm making an all-terrain table for the family to eat on. Yeah? All-terrain table. So basically, got these old mountain bike wheels, going to fit them onto a frame like that. That's going to fit to the underside of the table. The okay. point is, the table will be on big wheels. Yeah, and the big wheels will allow the family to roll them over this lip and over this step. Basically, what happened was, I got inspired by my unicycle. All-terrain wheel, unicycle. So the point was, they can actually take the table from here, and I shall be giving you a demonstration at this point, so you might want to move to one oh, side okay, a little okay. bit. Okay, <laughs> you ready? He's mad. Okay, here goes, here goes. And... Woo! Woo! Oliver! There you go. Are well, you a circus act in, part, in your spare time or something? Absolutely. Oliver's decided we're going to make a blind with this. A and blind with this? Yeah. It's going to go across the patio doors. Well, it's going to be lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Do you um, think it will? Um, I don't know. I'm a bit concerned about the, with the children, really. But Oliver said you can. You, we will be able to sweep it back. So this is dangling. Oh, all right, from, uh, all right. Leave it with me. So mid afternoon on day two, and everyone is busy at work. Oliver's inspired and rather unusual designs are beginning to take shape, whilst finishing touches are being made next door. Have you thought much about yours? Yeah, we were sitting out there in the garden and we were wondering and wondering and wondering some more. And, and worrying? Well, because we said we're like free and easy with colours and don't mind what happens, but now we're not so sure. <laughs> so we're just going to have to wait and see. What for you would be the worst? Red. Red? Red. Red or a horrible, horrible pale blue. A horrible pale blue? Yeah, a horrible pale blue. I just hope they like blue, I do really. But you're not sure then? Well no, not certain that they like blue, no. Presumably you told them, don't do it red or pale blue. Um. yeah, yeah. You did? Yeah, yeah we did. It's alright then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little face. Look at that little face. <laughs> Why are you smiling? Because <laughs> it's my job. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> smiling, smiling, Carol, smiling. Good. <laughs> okay. You're right now, then, you? Push it down in four. Is Andy the only person who can work that nail gun? Practice <laughs> 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 right, makes perfect. <laughs> oh, maybe not. These are for our, um, you know, our feature wall, our aubergine wall. We need to fill them quite a lot and paint them. All right. I'll right, get on with it. Yeah. Okay, Lord, don't stop, please, and <laughs> make sure it's finished by the time I come back. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Push it in. Oh, yeah. well, hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Be gentle with it. If you want a job doing properly, get a woman to do it and a man to yeah. watch. Yeah, love it. Right. You'll never know it's just been fixed. I'll tell you what, guys. What's that? And it's not because I've just put the last step in here. But we're going to have to really hurry now because we've only got one hour left. Right, the only place this is actually going to stand up is right here. Might have to chop the whole of the bottom down. There should be some bundles of twigs and a palm. Kevin! You watch me struggle here and walk it off. Let's go again. Are you any good at putting little floating shelves on the walls? No. <laughs> We want Andy! We want Andy! I'm not this audience, but... Oh, dear. Just the right shade of lilac. You might have to go on the mesh unit. This goes off by the door. Kevin. Lights on. Fine. And we're finished. 
Very nice. It's good. The hard graft is over and it's time to face the consequences. How will Paul and Philippa's middle-of-the-road taste take to Linda's cutting-edge grass table and aubergine wall? Is this what you envisaged at the very start? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. So what's your most expensive item out of all this lot? Probably my polished plaster. The whole of that wall cost me about £60 to do. Best Buy? Um, it has to be on my reclaimed timber. 20 quid for the whole lot. Really? Is that all it was? Yes. I know. It's fantastic, isn't it? So we really did well with that. Favourite piece? Has to be my table with all the grass coming out of the middle. <laughs> I love it. I know you do. It's so you. It's such a feature. Uh-huh. Is your house full of grassy bits? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, the budget was £500. Yes. Yeah. spent. £499.24. Oh, gosh. Unbelievable. <laughs> the time has come. Open your eyes. Wow. Yeah. Looks so different. Oh, it looks like a completely different room. room yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. The room just looks, doesn't it? Uh, we must be in a different There's house. Another blind at the other end. Oh, it's really nice. I would never have put the furniture like this. I just wouldn't. It's just so different. New surround around the fire. Oh, that looks so much better. The horrible bricks have gone. <laughs> Colour's completely different, isn't it? You like oh, it? That's really lovely. That's really different, isn't it? With little spot the little spotlight. Yeah. What about oh, your grass table? Isn't... That's pretty outrageous, isn't it? It is, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but you like no, it. No, it's a really yeah, pretty oh, colour. Fantastic. I really like that colour. Yeah, it is. Very happy, it's really yes. nice, yeah. So from nice to contemporary eclectic, pale blue might not have been Kevin and Laurel's first choice, but will he be swayed by Oliver's quirky approach to cuisine? Kitchens are never easy, and I don't think you find this one particularly no, easy. That's been really hard work, so much painting. So um, what was your biggest extravagance, do you think? Um, probably the paint, actually, because we spent about £100 on the paint. But so it was money well spent. Best buy? It's got to be the table, actually. <laughs> I know it's really a bit funny and odd, but it's really nice because they can take the table outside and eat outside in the mornings and it just makes your day. Favourite? The mesh unit, I think, actually. I just really love it. It's really nice that it divides the space and you can put lots of stuff in it. Everything looks really good and hang the cutlery on it and the glasses look lovely. So, yeah, I think that was good. Budget was £500. Yeah. You blew it big time. I bet I did. Five hundred and twenty-five pounds. Oh, big time! And twenty-two pounds. Oh, you're going to punish me this time. Oh, you wish. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I didn't. I didn't think I'd feel like this. What you do? I'll put you out your misery. Open your eyes. <laughs> oh my good God! Oh my God. Laurel. <laughs> Laurel! You're right. You're going to have a baby or something. <laughs> okay, let me get there. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Liar. You hate it? No. You don't hate it? Okay. I hate the pink. I don't like the pink. I've got to be honest. Okay. But I, I love everything else. Wheelchair. <laughs> it's an all-terrain table to get over that step out there when you want to eat outside. You just pick it up one oh, end right. and, it, and just it, wheel it out. Wheel it out. Oh, that's brilliant. brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Half your breakfast Look, bar is gone. You know, we talked oh, yes. talk about <laughs> didn't light blue, that. didn't we? <laughs> you did. You said, as long as it's not light blue. And apparently you said somebody else light blue or pink. Look, 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 look. look, look. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the words out, you just can't speak. No, I love it. Really? Yeah. 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 I better go and tell them then. <laughs> oh, Shall we go and find the <laughs> one? I reckon they'll like it. <laughs> 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 did you like it, Oliver? Did you like it? Hello, buddy. How are you going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, really good. Do you like the wire mesh? Yeah, that's, that's cool. Well, that's it. Still next door neighbours, but still best friends. I think. Join us again next week on Changing Rooms. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. Buffy and Angel. Value at only 10.